Hey there boys and ghouls, it's your friend Taryn Tass. I'm back with a video and unfortunately this was not the video I had in mind, not the video I thought I was going to make today. Uh, I thought I was going to get in that uh, limited edition steelbook of um, The Exorcist and I thought I was going to be reviewing that but unfortunately things didn't exactly go the way as planned and uh, for whatever reason they couldn't fulfill the order and then they, when I checked back on it they dropped the price you know, play, pay for shipping, then they import it. So it's probably going to be about another week or two to get that edition in. So I just went ahead and looking on there, it's like, um, that's the thing, you know, I was like, I already have the uh, three disc Blu ray 40th anniversary slipcase there. I got this one here. I don't know if you see, there it is. Yeah. That one there. I've had that VHS special edition. So, you know, I just thought to myself, what I really need is I really just need the movie on 4K. You know, I already have Blu-rays with the uh, bonus features and stuff, but instead of going for that American one with the really hideous, um, with the really hideous, you know, artwork, I went ahead and I'm going to import this one. And this one is supposed to be coming between Tuesday and Friday. So, yeah, so I got that one coming in. That's the one I ordered and... It's a 4K Blu-ray combo, but, you know, and just, like I said, sadly, just the whole thing just kind of went south, and I wasn't able to uh, get the one that, you know, I wanted to get so I could do the review for you guys, so I do apologize about that, just, you know, just, I hate when things don't go the way they plan, but, but at the same time, though, too, I mean, it's not a complete downer ending. Um, coming Tuesday, I got so much stuff coming in, and it's going to be fun, you know, um, I got, uh, you know, hopefully if nothing goes wrong, I got the Paramount Scares box set coming in. Going to do a video on that. Going to do a video on the uh, Radiance uh, Limited Edition of uh, Messiah of Evil. Look forward to that. Got two new ones from Indicator. Got Fascination, Lips of Blood. So, and uh, I'm hoping from uh, Kino Lorber. Going to get uh, Cujo and Red Dragon. So it's not like I don't have things to make videos about next week. I'm going to have plenty of stuff to talk about, but uh, just... I do apologize. I just couldn't get the one out today that I thought I was going to get. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, I did pick up some other things, though, as well. And uh, went to my local record store, and they were having sales. And uh, had, like, three for ten. And these here, like, some of my Simpsons I needed to kind of get newer editions of. Because just, you know, had so many of these editions for years and years. They just, you know, the packaging and everything else just kind of falling apart and stuff. So... Yeah, so I was, you know, needed to get some newer editions. And, you know, three for $10 can beat that. I got, uh, for The Simpsons, I got Season 5. You can see three for $9.99. So I got Season 5. So, yeah. So, I'm kind of way, I'm still thinking, I want, well, I don't know if The Simpsons is ever going to end. But I wonder if at some point, especially if now, if, you know, uh, Walt Disney, if they're going to start getting back into putting out physical meal, I wonder if we might see some future editions of The Simpsons. That'd be nice. But anyway, and then I got uh, Volume 7, or Season 7. So, that was cool. Unfortunately, they didn't have any others, but, you know, I'll keep my eyes out. So, yeah, kind of getting some of my Simpsons back. And this one here, another one for the Disney collection that I did. I remember seeing the Rescuers. Well, this is what I got. I got the Rescuers, double feature Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under. I remember going to see the Rescuers in the theater as a kid. Never saw uh, Rescuers Down Under. But, uh, yeah, just, I figured I wanted to get this and kind of watch it again. I hadn't seen it in so long. And, you know, for only $3.33, I figured, you know, that's not a bad deal. So, go ahead and get on that. But, anyway, so... Yeah, so not bad, you know, for 10 bucks, pretty much for all three of these. So then uh, also, too, I got, you know, some uh, store credit. So that's, yeah, I'm going to use that for, uh, that's why I was saying, I want to go down Tuesday. I'm praying that they'll have, you know, Red Dragon and Cujo on 4K from Kino Lorber so I can get those and I can do videos on those. This I found at a pawn shop. I just, I made a post about it on YouTube earlier, but uh, I cannot believe I found this. It was 20 bucks. The, uh, the cover was in great condition. The discs are in main condition, but you would not believe. I posted a picture showing how bad a condition the, um, the case was. But now, 
for 20 bucks on 4K, I now have the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. So I have the 15-disc uh, Blu-ray set, and for the longest time, I just, I admit, I've been dragging my feet, but now, as, I, as you can tell, I already sleeved it and everything else, keep the... Keep the artwork safe, keep the discs safe and everything else. So, yeah, I sleeved it already, but, uh, yeah, just wow. So, it's going to be fun. You know, next time I decide I want to do a uh, Lord of the Rings marathon, I admit, I haven't watched them yet to see how good they look. But at least next time I decide I want to sit down and do me a Lord of the Rings marathon, I can at least watch them in 4K. So, that's cool. Uh, got some, uh, they had a Halloween sale. Oh, this one I got in the mail. I did get this one in the mail. Couldn't get The Exorcist, but I got this one. And this one was only, uh, altogether it was like $12 with tax and everything. It was like $10 and change for the for the release itself. And then, uh, but I got it from Amazon. And it was, you know, I had to wait for it a little bit because it was back order, but finally got it. And now that is Train to Busan. I now have that on 4K. So how cool is that? Oh, wait. Covering up the... So, uh, yeah, so I finally got this one. It was bugging the crap out of me for the longest time because I had this one on Blu-ray, but I had the sequel, Peninsula. I had that one on uh, 4K. So it was always bugging me. It's like, you know, I got this one, but I don't have, or I got this one on Blu-ray, had the other one on 4K. So I was like, man, I really need to try to get along, get around to upgrading this one to 4K, and I finally got it. So I'm happy about that. But, uh, yeah, and just... I always had really good luck when it came to this movie, though. It's like, back when I bought the Blu-ray years back, um, yeah, I managed to find the, the uh, Blu-ray in a pawn shop, and I only had to pay $4 for it. So, not bad, you know, especially at the time. And this one here, now, you know, like I said, it's $10 and change, but it came out to about 12 bucks altogether with shipping and stuff. So, or uh, not shipping, but tax. But uh, anyway, so now, glad to finally have Train to Busan on 4K. So, got this one here. This one is going to be, oh, good lord. Yeah, I got this one here for a good price, and uh, this couple of steel books here. I found Tremors. This is like a FYE limited edition. And the thing is, is like I do have the Blu-ray of the Tremors uh, tag pack, but I thought what I would do is, is since I got this for such a good price, what I thought I would do I screwed up. I did not get the, you know, the big box set of uh, the Tremors uh, 4K when I had the chance. And now, unfortunately, that's gone. I mean, I know I could probably just wait and eventually at some point, uh, maybe I'll come across one, but it'll be marked up like crazy and be super expensive. But since I found this for, you know, pretty much next to nothing, I thought what I would do is I'd take this uh, steel book and then I would just get the the uh, standard edition of the 4k and uh, put it in here and I'll just modify this baby and turn it in because there's no blu-ray logo at least not one that I can see so so I thought you know that's what I do is I just get the I'll get this get the uh, the standard 4k put the 4k disc in here and turn it into a nice little 4k steelbook so I have you know that and I do have uh, the the limited the uh, box set of um Tremors 2. I do have that one pre-ordered, so I know it's not going to match up, but still. But anyway, so there you go. Just something I thought I'd try. Crazy, I know, but... And uh, these two, I got these for 20 bucks a piece. Not a bad deal. And uh, the first one I had on Blu-ray, now I finally get to upgrade it to a 4K. And the second one, I never had at all, so nice to finally get it in some form or another. We have the Steelbook of Zombieland. And Zombieland Double Tap. So yeah, so I didn't have these. And uh, like I said, I had this one on Blu-ray. I did not have the, you know, the second one. Unfortunately, though, the inside that... Not very interesting, though, is it? But on the back here, you got... Uh, I forget Woody Harrelson's characters. Was it Montana, I think? Anyway, yeah, it was nice to finally get these. Now I have both of them. I have them on 4K. Upgraded both. I forgot to show you the Tremors one, though. Yeah, that's the inside. The iconic cover that we all know and love. And that says, you know. 
Like I said, I already have the Tremors Attack Pack with the four films on it. So, like I said, I figure I can just get around to getting this bad boy. I can, you know, get that on 4K and make a nice 4K steelbook. And this one here, it's weird because the finish, this has that kind of more like matted finish on it. And this one has more of that glossy finish on it. But still, they're nice steelbooks. And I'm sure other people already showed these off. But, yeah. This one here, this one actually does have some inside artwork, though, which is interesting. Come on. There we go. There you go. So, yeah. Okay. You know, so I just got to get this back in here. Okay. So now you get the, you get the gist. Okay, I got Zombie Land 1 and 2 on 4K Steelbook. You got that. Okay, and these here, I could not believe the price I got for these. These were, this one here I, has been sitting at my local record store, has been sitting on the shelf for the longest time. I've been wanting to get around to it, and just uh, finally they dropped the price on it. So I was like, now is the time to jump on this. So we have the complete film collection of the Inner Sanctum Mysteries featuring Lon Chaney Jr. So this one here, yeah, I think. So almost six and a half or six hours and twenty one minutes. We have Calling Doctor Death, Weird Woman, Dead Man's Eyes, The Frozen Ghost, Strange Confession, and Pillow of Death. So yeah, it's kind of cool to get this. You know, ten bucks. Happy about that. This one here got for a dollar fifty. Uh, I've been another one. I've been eyeing it and eyeing it and just never got around to getting it. I saw this. It's like now's the time for a dollar fifty. Why not? We have. The seasoning, the seasoning house. This is the one I thought I had it. It turns out, no, I don't. I thought I had this already. I do now, so that's cool. That's in here. Uh, I've seen the movie. It's it's okay. Um, I still, I much, I figure for a dollar fifty, it's not gonna hurt to add to the collection. But even though I still, I honestly prefer the documentaries as opposed to the movies we have the haunting in connecticut 2 the haunting in georgia or ghosts of georgia sorry and it's like you know the movies like i said they're okay but you know just like i said i kind of prefer the the documentaries more but for a dollar fifty figure i'd just get it and add to the collection why not so yeah so anyway and last but not least from hammer studios this one here I watched it once, and I gotta be honest, it was very slow. I thought it was kind of boring. Maybe I need to, you know, give it another watch. You know, it's like, you know, revisit it. Um, I watched this, you know, years back on Chiller. Does anybody even remember Chiller Channel? But because uh, nobody ever talks about it anymore. But anyway, for a dollar fifty, we got Wake Wood. So I know I'm probably, I know I'm probably gonna get some flack for that. It's like, dude, you didn't like that movie? It's like. I watched it one time. I just thought it was boring and just kind of very slow and everything else. That, that why do you think I got it? So I can you know give it another look, see and see if you know see if it grows on me this time. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. So I have been getting stuff, and I got more stuff coming. And I did, I did get the Exorcist. You know, I got it coming. It's coming next week. It just unfortunately it's just not the edition I thought I was going to get, but. Anyway, so yeah, so here we go. We get, but I think I'm still doing pretty good under the circumstances. So we got these, and we got steel books. Yep. We got nice 4K upgrade. Found this one. So got the trilogy. I know. Uh, I need to look into it. Maybe see about getting a better case for it. But like I said, right now I'm just happy. The artwork is in great shape. The discs are in great shape. And uh, here we go. Some uh, upgrades there. So uh, I know this didn't end up being the video that, you know, like I said, I thought I was going to make. But um, if anybody did take the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it. I appreciate you for doing it. I do, again, apologize. I didn't get around to reviewing you know the version of the exorcist i thought i was going to uh but um yeah you know hopefully hopefully you guys will stick around hopefully tuesday i'll have some videos up that you might like to see 
Uh, in the meantime, um, yeah, I'm also working on getting the other, finishing up the other part of my family-friendly Halloween movie collection. So there's that. But, uh, you know, if you guys watched this video, if you did like it, you know, could you please leave a like? And if you haven't already, go subscribe to the channel. And uh, there is more stuff coming, you know. So I got, you know, I'm going to try my absolute best not to, you know, cop out. But, you know, why I even say that? So, but anyway, so uh, that's it. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. I'll see you later.